it's so easy when you put out a project for people to interpret it however they want to. And then there's so many different things that shape that interpretation and stuff. And I feel like we don't get a chance as artists to necessarily guide some of that. If you're down for it, I want to give you a chance to do some of that. Yeah, man. Let's do it. First track is Darkness, right? Yeah. And the first thing I notice is that like it feels like the beginning of it is just like a descent into darkness. Darkness is kind of like another word for confusion. So I was thinking about a, a specific day in my life, trying to figure a lot of things out, but also I was kind of embarrassed to talk about I didn't want to confide in anyone and I found myself just walking around London on my own uh, aimlessly and like every 20 minutes I just I just break down I kind of was like experimenting with like sonata form you know instead of having one melody you can have a melody made out of different pieces I had like a first sec uh, subject and a second subject the solo is kind of like the development section And then you return to the first subject and sub uh, uh, second subject played on top of each other. I thought that that kind of added nicely to um, the feeling of just like confusion and not knowing how to fix it. Comes across very strongly, man. Thank you. The next one was Bittersweet, right? Mm -hmm. Also love the title on this one. It feels like, yeah, just a continuation of the story. You know what it is, is, is about being, basically being in a relationship that I couldn't, I couldn't make work. You can have such, so much love for someone, but if you have resentment and you're not dealing with it constructively, it just, it can really poison the whole thing. There's a little intro, which has kind of like little, these little short melodies moving in different directions. And that to me kind of represents conflict. And then when it drops into the piece, it kind of sounds like dreamy. When you remember relationships and you remember being in love with someone, it's like, it does, you remember the good bits and it feels, it feels good to remember them. But as the piece moves on, the B section suddenly goes a bit kind of minory, a bit scary. You know, these relationships that, that look good on the outside, but actually on the inside, mm. um, it's just, it's, 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 it's not all happening. I love the fact that like, the focus is the emotion of it. I feel like that's, that's what creates the best music. That's it, man, the emotional content. Next up was distraction. Yeah, man. Tell me if I'm wrong or right about this. I felt like the, the bass line was kind of like the melody of it, and it had like the right hand. Mm. Felt mm -hmm. like that was the distraction that was happening. The bass line, that's really meant to represent like just those ugly thoughts that you have that sometimes come in and they just, they just bully you, man. Like, it, or you can let them bully you. When you have that thought and then suddenly you can't think straight and you can't focus. I definitely suffered a lot from that over the years. I um, mean, it's only something I've only like recently learned to be aware of and, and understand how to handle, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. The next one was Abraham. And it felt like this was a turning point in the project. Mm. We used to uh, have these like like Bible story cartoons. We used to just watch me kids, mm. and the one of Abraham and Isaac was the one that like just affected me, man. It's like God tells him to like sacrifice his son. He's got to take his son up this mountain, and he's thinking like I love my son, but I got I got sacrificed. Yeah. So it's it's the feeling of, of being conflicted. to use brushes instead of sticks. Yeah. And so I really like how forward that sound of the brushes sound, because you normally think of like brushes kind of sitting back, playing more relaxed. Um, so I really like that texture on that one. Yeah, that's a great one, man. I think that one was my favorite one on there, honestly. 
thanks, man. Yeah, I think that that's the one for the like jazz house, really. Yeah, <laughs> yep. And the last one is beginner's mind. Uh, talk a little bit about that one. So this one is is really just about the process of of meditating. It's a, it can be stormy in there, you know, man. When you when sure. you're actually like watching your mind, you're like all of this stuff is coming out and 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 um, and it takes over and it and it makes you feel emotions. And so I kind of wanted to just to represent that in the music. Yeah, man, like that, I felt like that, obviously that's the most positive one, even though it's kind of got, you know, shades of light, shades of dark. Um, but I felt like that was that was a good way to, to finish. Yeah, man. So yeah, man, um, really appreciate um, having this conversation. It's good, it's nice to be able to Same, talk man, it was a great conversation, great project. Uh, I'm excited for everybody to hear it. But thank you, Rafi. Once again, I'm Linton Smith with Amazing Radio. Take care.